No. Oh. Well, uh, that's good to know where you stand. Oh, you. Listen, sister. I'm oh, okay. Don't call me sister. Just Catherine Ann. Maybe. Or better yet, CA. CA. This is more of a fact finding mission for me. I got plenty of facts. I'm sure that this is a worthy topic for I just need to know more about your expectations. Oh, no expectations, Stephanie. I figure let's just put our heads together and see what happens. Look, why don't you take away some of this material with you? Uh, yeah. Here's stats on trafficking of women and children. An article about trafficking in AIDS. Uh, oh, some info about PACT, that is Persons Against the Crime of Trafficking in Humans. It's, it's not just happening out there, you know, it's going on right here in Canada. Are you Sister Catherine Ann? Is it that obvious? No, 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 well I was just... <laughs> I'm just rattling your chain. <laughs> nice to meet you, Peter. And, and this, this is Stephanie Arclay, right? Hi. Well, we've just been chatting. Maybe we didn't want to start without you. Yeah, well, my wife had a late meeting and I had to hold dinner for her. And then who cooks? Yeah, Helen's job's pretty hectic, deputy minister for the feds. So the cooking falls to me and my sous chef, Rianne, my daughter. And yeah, how old is Rianne? Oh, she's 12, going on 20. She follows all those cooking shows on TV. <laughs> Poor I had someone to cook for me. For your LeBlanc CA. Oh, no. I've got Ricky Ricardo. Who? Well, he was always hanging around the parking lot, and one night he follows me right into the building. It was freezing out, I let him stay, and we've been together ever since. He adopted me. Is Ricky oh. Ricardo a cat? <laughs> oh. Oh. My cat's name is, uh, Cupcake. Ooh. Ricky Ricardo is a little Lucy. He's the soul of Ricky Ricardo. Charming, but with the Latin temperament. Now! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a transferable skill. <laughs> and, and what's your interest in sex trafficking? And the truth is, sister, I'm always sniffing around for a good story. Gloria mentioned this African girl you're working with. Yeah, it's Celestine from Nigeria, and she's hardly a girl anymore. Who was sold into sex slavery. Uh, by her parents, actually. Oh, my God. Oh, this kind of thing happens all the time. How's she doing now? Uh, lots of challenges. Uh, uh, and she was trafficked for eight years in Italy. Now, she, now she's seeking refugee status here, and she has a child now. You know, real life stories can translate into commercial success. Well, Celestine is pretty traumatized, Peter. And you should also know that we have a bit of money, but we're not in a position to pay you. Relax, sister. I know these social justice things need volunteers to get off the ground. But what I also know is there's no harm in turning a profit. We all gotta eat, eh? <laughs> well, we're glad to have you here, Peter, for whatever reason. <laughs> but to be honest, you know, my place pretty full for the next while, so I don't like to commit when I'm not sure I can. Look, I run a business with my husband, uh, editorial services. We all have commitments. Let's just see what's doable, okay? What is the next one? Marvelous! Uh, oh, how about in uh, two weeks? It'll give you a chance to read some background material. Like I said, I'm not sure at this point. Well, maybe you'll feel more sure once you connect with the women in these real-life stories. I have to say, right now it all seems kind of unreal. Oh, it's real. She'll be right up your alley. Oh, sure. Sure. Now you're just rattling your chain here. <laughs> <laughs>